everybody, welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today I'm going to be reviewing the DX9 Supreme Leader Mitron. I just got him today. So, here is Mitron, which is DX9's masterpiece take on um, Megatron. And uh, take a look at the box first. Beautiful box of, of Mitron and uh, Gewalt or Gewalt um, Jigger, that's his name, Jigger, and a bunch of Seekers, like a whole army of Seekers. And then we've got like World War II bombers in the back. Here we go. Some nice artwork on the front. This is a really nice box. And so far, I think to date is my favorite. Um, and then some different uh, takes on animation so i guess you know scenes in in various media that they were in here we have the back of the box and it is what looks like a diagram or schematic of um of mitron and uh yeah and here we go with some more stuff and dx9 did a great great job with this box this box looks amazing and then the bottom has you know the various warnings and stuff um, inside there's a plastic tray and i think this plastic tray has been the best so far it holds all the accessories unlike with uh tyrant where some of the accessories were in the tray and then like the matrix of leadership and the chain were just kind of floating around um, speaking of what you get in the box, you get your instructions, which, um, they're, they're okay. I took a look over them, but I'm actually, I've actually been transforming him without looking at this because honestly, it's a little confusing, not a little confusing, but it's, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it was completely taken care of properly. Here we've got, um, his bio card and, uh, there's this really nice poster in here. I need to start getting um, getting some watch in my calls because these things have been coming with some really, like, let's see if I can make sure that's, it's a little reflective, but, you know, that's a great picture of Mitron. I mean, a really great picture of Mitron. So, yeah. That said, let's see what else he comes with. He comes with a energon mace which i've modified and i'll sh I'll, actually i'll show you that now um it's basically this piece here with um a chain and the spike ball but because the chain is just a chain it just tends to it, it would just floop and just you know so what i did was i went and i got some i went to i actually went to my walmart and i got this silver craft wire cut a piece i threaded it through and now this thing is you know it's fairly poseable i mean it's not super poseable but you know you can get some decent decent flail looking you know and it, it holds the shape okay so there's that i'm trying to focus it and there we go so yeah, and you, you, I mean, you can see it now that I'm pointing it out, but um, it's not, it doesn't, if you thread it through correctly, it doesn't really stand out. So, you know, for those of you who want to pose them with the mace and hate that it's just always dropping and he has to hold it with two hands or something, uh, there's that option for you. You can get craft wire. It's uh, $2.97 at Walmart. So here's the UPC in case you need it. Let's you just go to their fabrics and crafts section, and yeah, right there. Um, he comes with this really cool looking Energon sword, which you can split it and make it into whatever that is, or that, or you know, that, you know, like that. And uh, it comes with this, which does unfold, and you can attach the sword on, which we'll do right now. Um, 
And there you have, I think this is supposed to be uh, sort of like a, a scythe for um, for their, their terror, which is the um, shattered glass version of Rodimus or Carrie. Um, but it looks cool and it were it, 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 it's cool. I like this. I do like this extra bit and you get an extra face. Let's see if I can get it to focus, get an extra face, a screamy face or a yelling face, whatever. And then of course you get Mitron and actually Mitron in his, um, bring that back a bit. Mitron and his scope come separate in the box. So it's a pretty good looking. Um, I have him slightly mistransformed to defeat so it'll stand by itself because it is way out there. But it is a really nice looking gun. It's a nice looking gun. It has some issues with with some seams and gaps and things not quite getting in there as they should like if you look right here you can kind of see that I can't get this piece to to go through correctly oh I didn't put the there we go trigger down um let me go ahead and transform the feet properly in so that that is one less thing to be used as an excuse and then, and I can, yeah, so you can see right there some bits of gaps where things should plug in better, but they don't. Actually, I see a problem right there. Why aren't you plugged in? You're supposed to be plugged in. Hold on one second. Okay, I got part of the problem uh, averted. I mean, it's still a little slight gap, but at least I got this issue taken care of better. Um, let's move the light back some so we can see the. I mean, there are some panel lining and some slight, slight gaps. But honestly, though, this thing looks really good. I believe it does. Um, I don't have a G1 Megatron here that I could... I mean, I do. It's in a box somewhere. But um, yeah, I don't have one readily available, so I can't really show this off. Now, th this doesn't come with... Um, it doesn't come with the stock... And it doesn't come with the silencer. But I don't care because honestly, I'm probably not going to have him in this, this mode for uh, very often. For one, it's a pain in the butt to transform into. Two, it, it's a gun. It's a giant gun. It's it's honestly boring to me. Um, the trigger does push back. There's no click. It's just a spring-loaded trigger. Um, and that's it. Let's... Get the feet transformed back out again, just so I can go ahead and give to you a bit of a size comparison. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and get MP10. And this will give you an idea of how big this guy is. This guy is plenty big. Plenty, plenty, plenty big. I mean, yeah, I mean, in gun mode, he's almost as tall as MP10 himself. So, um, yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to attempt to transform him on camera. Notice I said attempt to transform him on camera because I will not lie. He is a little difficult. Oh, before I forget there is a light in the scope so yay dx9 um i've seen other people who've had issues with the lights in their scope not working um could be that maybe while it was in transit the batteries were that like somebody had pressed the thing down and the batteries are being used i don't know um oh one thing before i forget Mine has an issue where there are parts where I don't know if that's paint drippage or if paint rubbed off on the black plastic. But yeah, there's some areas where it just doesn't like in the, the plastic on here 
is a little let's get him out of here it's probably causing the issue slightly like you can see it's it's kind of like it looks like it's cracked there and like marred and marked and um that i've seen other people's uh other people have had that where where it, i don't know why it does that why it looks like that let's move this back some so we can but um other than that though you're really not going to notice it but I thought I'd just bring that out. And I have no idea what this... I guess this is a lanyard to to clip it to you or something. I have no idea what this is for. But, yeah. And look, you, you still got the area where you can stick a stock on the back of it. So, um, maybe some, maybe a third party will release a third party add-on for this. Or the X9 will do it. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get this transformed. First thing I'm going to do, you don't have to do it probably, uh, but I'm going to do is I'm going to push, I'm going to push the safety down so that there's nothing in the way there. And uh, you don't have to get rid of the barrel. You can probably keep the barrel on there for transformation. So I'm going to try my best to transform it with the barrel on. I'll bring the feet back out again. Bring the feet out and take these bits, flip them around, and and they just kind of see if we can get that to focus. Focus there. They just kind of slide in right there. I thought it was cut. Um, do the same thing on the other side. Bring this piece out. Spin it around. And it tabs in to make the fully sized foot. Go ahead and bring. Oops, I didn't show you. Bring the heels out. Those become the heels. Okay. Let's bring the light a little bit closer over. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you is that yours will come with this plug and it'll be glued in like rubber cement, I guess. Um, and you can pull it out, which you'll you'll end up with. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but you can can't show you. But there's um, orange glue in there from here that I've been trying to get out. It's more back in there. You can kind of see it there. Um, but yeah, and none of the YouTubers so far that I've seen who's reviewed this uh, mentioned this. But you'll have this in there, and it will be shoved in there pretty tight. And um, tighter and you'll just have to, to work it out. So I'm um, back to the transformation. Go ahead and uh, uh, Go ahead and split the feet so we can bring them down Bring them down Okay, now well, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, so You're gonna take the legs and they collapse out like this. I don't know if that showed. Let's start from this end. Move the feet over. You'll have the feet like this. And then you'll push on it in a way that it will collapse like that. And that will fill the leg out. So you can see how it looks. And there's a lot of this kind of uh, transformation gimmick in here where you will things will will fold out in a 3d way and it's pretty cool go ahead and separate that a bit that'll probably give us more wiggle room for down here ah, there we go and we got that just get that out of the way okay and i've only transformed them twice so we collapse the scope in like so and then we'll split the, the arms a little bit okay and then let's see do we pull it up now yeah pull it up in a minute okay we'll rotate that so it's just out of the way for now so we can work on this back end um, uh, Slide that down and pull this up. 
So I'll show you again. Get this back down again. Okay. This bits will be they'll be down further and what you want to do is you want to pull this part this way while this part goes that way. Uh, and it's pretty tight. Okay, and then gonna split the arms down. Split this piece here. Uh, which a little hard if you have a tool, which I do have, you can use that to do it. Or if you have strong nails, you can use your nails. Uh, be careful. You don't want to chip the paint and you don't want to rip your nails off because it will hurt like hell. And say what you will about girls breaking the nails on TV. When you do it in real life, when you rip a nail down past the flesh, oh my God, it hurts so much. So anyway, push those all the way down. You gotta make sure that your arms, the bars are in focus and then you can push this all the way like that this flip fold these two tabs down and just leave them there for the moment because now i got to remember what else we're going to do ah okay oh whoops try not to pop that off when you're lifting it up but uh, bring these side pieces up fold these little Flaps up in the back here because you need. Damn it, I pulled it off again. You need clearance. Just leave it there. So you can rotate this all the way around, like so. And you're going to take these pieces. You see these pieces here? They're attached to this piece. You're going to flip that piece this way, like so like so then you can straighten out the legs and we're going to take the trigger you're going to so you're not going to rotate this piece you're going to rotate the piece uh like you'll see, there's a piece here and there's a piece right above you're going to rotate that and that will rotate the trigger around for you let's do it this way so we've got clearance Okay, I'll take that around. Okay, we've got our clearance, and now we've got the trigger facing towards the butt of what would be the butt, I guess, of my Tron. Okay, and we can go ahead and put this piece back on. And we won't fold the, the pieces all the way up just yet, because we still got a ways to go. The engineering on this is great and it's really like the stuff is really tight and that's great except that it's a little too tight at times but all right uh let's see i'm gonna flip this flap up oh we got this turned the wrong way hold on turn that that way and this piece is tabbed inside there we're gonna untab it i'm going to cheat go see tabs right into there move that back we'll, we'll move it down like this we'll bring these up swing this under and then we'll just lay that there for now and now we have to accordion this piece up which is a little difficult so I'm just gonna I guess wiggle you can see those bits and I don't like the way that feels so I'm not going to do that too often but wiggle it bring it around bring it around like so Oof. okay I'll take this piece here and I'll take this piece back here flip it back that'll let you reach in and pull my trans head out and around And then we will take this piece 
and lean it forward so we can get this piece to collapse here like so and get that inside there done. We'll flip this piece here. Oh, and hopefully we've been in focus this whole time. Bring that piece down. These pieces can stay there. We will rotate these pieces down. Bring this piece up. And this piece uh, flips on the back like so. And then you can either plug this in down here or plug it, leave it like this if you want to. Or put it over here, whichever way you want to, no matter what you do, it's gonna have you're gonna have a bit of a untidy mess there. But um, yeah, do that. You can come to the arms and uh, pull them out. Come to the arm uh, and pull it out. You're going to do the same 3D trick with the legs here, 3D folding, where um, it seems to work a little easier if you open this up a little bit. And then uh, flip that like so. Close that. Oh, well, you can close it back up for now. And then you're going to take this and rotate the trigger. I'm trying to do this as steadily as possible and now I get a little shaky and I apologize and I'm breathing a little hard because this is a bit awkward but in any case you're gonna do the same thing where you fold this down to give the illusion of more volume come to this side turn this that way and uh, do that and then whew, and we'll, it looks like it helps to open the panel so open the panel and then try to work it on over and here we go oops didn't mean to turn it on and then and then just lift up the fingers and pull the hand up by the fingers because that's really the best way to do it. There's no other way to really flip them around. There's no nubbin or anything. And close that up and just put the fingers the way you like it. Ouch. Just so you know, the thumb goes pegs in right here you tilt the thumb down like this and then you push it and i don't know how well that's showing up the thumb but um it's not the most best thing in the world um you have to actually wrestle the thumb force it into this i don't like it because i feel like i'm putting too much pressure on it and one day maybe it'll break but uh yeah and you do the same thing over here. Reach in and grab his fingers, flip it around, and then pose the fingers as you will. Just because I don't feel like rustling with it for too long. And that's not good for any plastic toys to have to keep prying it like that with a metal tool because you're going to scratch it up you're going to mess it up and uh oh and then before i forget one last thing i forgot about this fold fold these pieces over this piece here you're going to fold over once you've cleared the leg there we go okay and now we are done with my trunk.
There we go. And there we have our masterpiece, Megatron. And he looks pretty good. He looks very good, I think. Um, he has a few issues. And we're going to go over that in a second. just want to do my best to make him look look fairly decent. Give him a fist. There we go. Okay. Let me bring the lighting down a little bit. Just so you get a better view. Just, he looks, he looks great. He looks like Megatron. I mean, he should. That's what he was designed to look like. Let's bring this guy over. You can see nice silver finish. Um, I do need to get a repro label for his chest here, but otherwise, he looks great. Let me just bring it in closer so you can get a good look at his face. That's a Megatron face if ever I saw one. Oh. He hits all the cues just right. He really does. Um, now, issues that I have with him. Uh, really, uh, well, I don't, the hip skirts, I think, are a little, I don't really like them. They don't, I don't know. I wish there was something they did like this, the side skirts could fold up a little bit more or something. It just feels like they're a little bit much, to be honest with you. Um, of course, there's the backpack here. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It doesn't bother me for the most part because I usually don't have my figures posed this way or this way, but... Um, even like this, I don't mind too much because overall, I think they got the aesthetic right. The other thing I don't dig that much, although it doesn't bother me as much in person as it did watching these videos, is the size of the legs. Like, his his thighs just seem too small for his uh, calves. His calves are like Popeye, like Popeye on steroids. But um, it's not... Again, it looks much better in person than it does when you're watching somebody's video. Um, but his legs, they, you know, especially from the front, they look good. He looks fine. He looks great. He has a lot of posability. Let's go over that. His head can go up and down. Can you see that? Yes, okay. Rotate 360. The arms rotate 360. They go out to about there. Rotate at the lower bicep, and he has a double arm bend. His wrists don't, his wrists rotate. Um, okay, he's got four fingers and a, an opposable thumb. The thumb is not on a ball joint, uh, contrary to what other people are saying. It's on a sort of little swivel there. You can see it right there. And it goes all the way forward, all the way out like that. And then it has one joint. Let's see if I can see one joint. Um, the fingers, uh, three of the fingers are together in a paddle and they are articulate at uh, one, two. They're articulate at basically two points. Uh, however, they, it's, well, the middle finger is articulate at three points. It's weird. Fourth and, and second finger are articulate at one place, and the middle finger has three points of articulation. I think, actually, it's because these two fingers, the middle finger and the pinky, aren't actually attached at their own knuckle. They're actually, there's a pin going through that attaches to this middle piece right here. And that's actually pretty smart. And then, of course, you got the index finger, which can articulate at the knuckle 
by itself at this knuckle and at this knuckle so you can get uh, a lot no no waste i mean if you do this you probably can get a little you know but then it it breaks it up see if you undo that you can however get rotation underneath the skirt so you don't get waist rotation you get uh, mm, I don't know what that is, but you get a rotation underneath the skirt, and um, yeah, there's that. The legs, if you move all the kibbly stuff out of the way, forward, all the way back, bends at 90 degrees at the knee, uh, rotates at the upper thigh, and due to transformation, rotates like at the crotch and let's see what else and the feet have a rocker that way and that way so you will be able to get some decent poses out of him if I can adjust my camera but yeah, you can get some decent poses out of him. Whew. And, you know, can, he's got that light gimmick, so... Yeah. Looking at his accessories, we have the alternate face, which requires you to pop this face out, which... See, can I do it with just my hand, or do I have to get something to pry it out? I do. I have to get something to pry it out. And then you have a faceless Megs. And there's a little post on the back of the the face that, that a little hole, I should say, that plugs over that little post. You just slide it on. And now you've got an emotive Megatron. I don't know which face I like better, this one or the other one. Um, like, I like this face, but not, most of my other robots don't have... Emotive faces, they're usually a uh, straight face. So when I pose them with the other robots, it's, you know, I'm gonna put him back with his regular face. Just because, you know, none of my other robots are yelling. So there's that. Um, you can take, take his sword and Plug it into his hands. There is, hold on, let me just transform this back into a sword real quickly. If you look, you can see there are two nubbins. And let's see, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little nubbin right there cut into, it's not the palm of the hand, it's actually at the fingers. And he's got that same nubbin on both sides. Let's see. Now, I know. Uh, some of the, um, I know the, um, the preview copies that some people had didn't have the nubbin on both hands, but this one does, as you can see, and it holds it, holds the sword really well. So, you can do that. Have him with his sword. And, uh, take his, uh, flail. I think they're called, it's called, it's supposed to be called a flail. Uh, people call it a mace. Um, I think the mace was actually the stick with the with the thing on it. I think this is called a flail, um, and a whip with the stick on it is the morning star. Now, this is the part I was talking about where you transform him, his hands. You have to let's see if I can show that. It's really hard to to show it, but again, he's got that recessed hole there. You have to take this and you have to push, kind of push in here at the same time that you're pushing here until it pops in. And it's popping in a little easier now, I guess, because I've done it already. And then you take these and fold them so that his hand kind of looks like this. And then you rotate it around, flip it over, 
as if you were transforming him into his gun mode. And then you'll see this space here, and you just take the flail and work it into that space. There you go. And there you have Mitron. I was going to say Megatron. But yeah, Mitron, all blurry with his his flail and again if you choose to use the wire you can pose it some so that it doesn't look so flaccid I mean look at that you know so it's not just hanging You can, you know. So, there's that. You're welcome. And again, like I said, it's just... It's just, um... It's just some of this wire here. Just worked in where you, you have to... In order to get it to work... Hold on. Do this really quickly. You have to wrap it around one end. Thread it all the way through. And then wrap it around the other end in order to get it to, because it has to be anchored. Otherwise, if you don't, the chain still won't. The chain will have some posability, but then these pieces will, will droop, so it won't make a difference. But there's that. So you can do that. And then if you decide you want to, you can take this and make the little scythe and have Megatron use the scythe. Or, you know, just have a, have it as a, really long spear you can have him do that um you know have it like it's some kind of an axe you know choice is yours it really is but um let's go ahead and get him to hold this and he'll hold it it won't be grooved in anywhere but his his uh, hands are tight enough that he'll hold on to it. It's... So you got it like that, or you can, you know, probably make more sense to have him hold it here. So, so there you go. There's your Mitron, or just my Mitron, not yours, mine. Um, yeah. Now, there is some other little nitpicks. To me, they're little nitpicks. They're not huge, but um, if you look under here, let's get the light again. If you look under here, you can see there is a lot of gapage. And normally that would bother me. Normally it would, but um, for some reason it does not bother me at all. It really doesn't. Uh, mostly because in most of the poses, his arm will block that that gap space. Um, again, I wish these things could fold up a little bit more so that they were a little bit smaller. I kind of wish the thighs would have been a little bit thicker somehow. Or that the calves themselves could have folded over a little bit so that it wasn't quite so... Yeah, like that. Um, I don't mind that there's no waist articulation, even if they didn't throw in the under, like the waist underneath spinning. Um, it doesn't bother me. It really does not bother me. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get some size comparisons. We'll go ahead and get him. We'll go with straight legged. Get him straight legged. If I can get him now to balance. His feet do have some sort of a weird issue where they kind of do and don't balance. I don't know how to explain that any way better than that. Do I have these feet all the way out? Is that maybe the problem? That's the problem. I don't have the feet all the way out. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, there he goes. He's standing better. He has a lot of die cast in him. Um, I could tell, 
uh, aside from him, the way he feels when you lift him up, um, you just you can just kind of feel it. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and get MP10 into the mix. MP10 all situated properly. So it's a very light pose. And you can see that he is a bit taller than MP10. Although because his shoulders are higher, his chest piece is higher, it looks like he's a lot taller. Which really isn't the case. He's just... Um, I don't know, like maybe a quarter of an inch taller. Um, let's go ahead and get sound wave in there. So, there we go. And he is a lot taller than sound wave. Sound wave looks so dark. There we go. But, um, yeah, he's a lot taller than sound wave. Let's go ahead and get DX9's other Decepticon leader the mix and they are um as far as face and chest wise they are almost the same height uh this guy is slightly taller but i think it's more because of its crowns but i think this guy pulls off the proportions just a little bit better that's the thing with dx9's uh mp figures they have issues with the proportions for me the issue with this guy's proportions is that his legs and his chest look huge, but his arms just seem a little tiny bit undersized. Um, and because I have him out, we'll go with K.O. Reximus. Reximus Prime, which is, you know, K.O. Grimlock. And I think that's a good scale. I think that is a very good scale because in the in the cartoon originally uh, Matt, uh grimlock and company were huge and then somehow they ended up shrinking sorry they ended up shrinking so but um yeah that looks together and they're about the same shade of silver too and that looks really nice i almost forgot to show off that yes indeed laser beak can be plugged into um mitron's arm let's see if i turn this off there we go mitron's arm so can using this little peg right here, little slot something, I forgot what it's called. But using that right there, you can slide laser beak on to the Mitron. And there you go, you've got uh, laser beak and um, Mitron or MIGS. And woo, let's get him to hold himself because you know, inception, right? Megception. So we have Megatron holding a Megatron, just like like uh, Takara Soundwave. I mean, Shockwave comes with a little Shockwave. So. But, um, yeah, that said, I think it's about time to wrap up this review. This guy, in my opinion, I like this guy. I, I, I really do. I think he is a great Megatron. I am probably going to get Despatron. Whoops. Despatron, because I also like that Megatron, too. But that one is more of a comic book Megatron as opposed to the cartoon. And uh, I was originally going to get a Polyon, but um, after this guy came out, I saw no real reason to. I think um, just from what I've seen, this guy just is better than a Polyon. A Polyon has a cleaner back, but this guy has cleaner legs, and he just looks more the part than a Polyon. Um, yeah. Yeah, and of course, Takar is going to do their version of of uh, Megatron, and so far it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I mean, if I'm honest, uh, just from the the 
prototypes or the renders. I don't know what it is. Uh, that one looks like it may even outdo this guy. Don't know. I only have to, uh, you know, have to wait to find out. But um, for uh, this guy was only one hundred and twenty nine bucks. I mean, it's a masterpiece toy for one hundred. Which nowadays, for this size masterpiece, um, even if it was official, you're still looking at like like Optimus is one hundred and fifty. Uh, the Seekers are going for one hundred and ninety nine. I mean, it's ridiculous. So if you like Megatron, you really can't go wrong with this guy. Uh, especially because you're probably not going to put him in his gun mode too often. Um, maybe you will. The gun mode looks great. But the robot mode looks fantastic to me. I honestly think it looks fantastic. So that said, I'm very happy with this figure. I am Islip. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night. And I love this Megatron. Can't say that enough.